Usually when I mention I'm a gender studies major, people ask me if I have mommy issues. And I'm like, no. So they're like, daddy issues? And I'm like, no. <laughs> but I have just as good a chance at getting a job as any STEM major. I mean, there's no jobs for anyone. Except for maybe Rowan, our friend group's comp sci major, who self-medicates with Red Bull and unprescribed Adderall instead of going to therapy. Now, Rowan might be the only one of us guaranteed a job after leaving this oasis of learning, but will he really be happy spending his whole life stuck in front of a computer, searching through pages of code to find where he left out a curly bracket? With the salary he'll make? Probably. People tell me I should take as many pictures as possible in college. And what's a movie but thousands of pictures? And you know, with all the fun memories we have, I bet this little video scrapbook will outshine every college party movie ever. And just further prove how great my college experience has been so far. You know, my friends and I, we're really tight-knit. I've been told people don't ever see us apart. And sure, we have gotten a few people try and tell them to blink twice if I'm keeping them against their will. Um, and once we got somebody try to stage a rescue. But I won't take judgment from liberal arts majors. What are they gonna do, quote philosophy at me? They can't even get laid. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, me and my besties have so much fun. The memories made right here, unforgettable. We have game night. Uno. You mother <laughs> We have movie night. <laughs> yeah. Silly Mr. Snuggles, stop reminding your intestines. We have enough spaghetti. And some nights we like to go out. Isn't this great? You know what they say, a friend group that hangs together, bangs together. Stays. Stays together. You know, people also tell me I'm the glue of this little gang. They say, you know Claire, always there to make sure everybody's having a good time. Really nice fashion sense. Just a kind person. Also, she's like really hot. I mean, without me, who knows where the others would be right now? Yeah, so I don't like any of these people actually. Um, I was just in the dining hall one day doing some homework and then Claire came up to me and was like, hey, you look lonely, wanna come to my karaoke night? And I says like, sure, cause it's like the beginning of the school year and I could just leave when it got boring. But the thing is, no one else showed up and I did not have the heart to leave her there by herself singing Barbara Streisand. So I kind of just sat there. Oh, karaoke night? Total hit. Everyone there got super into it. Papa, can you hear me? Papa. Can you see me? Papa, can you There's nothing in that cup. I don't think Claire understands the concept of alcohol. She kind of just left cups out, but didn't have any drinks to put in them. Yeah, kind of weird. You know, behind her back, Sloane calls her Clueless Claire. I wanted to call her Crappy Taste in Movies Claire, but apparently that was a bit of a mouthful. And speaking of Sloane, has no one noticed he just appeared midway through the semester? Like, I asked Claire, and Claire said, of course they go here, stop asking questions. But I want to know where they came from. They're, I'm pretty sure they're living in the dorm of a girl who got expelled for trying to murder one of the campus geese because an ancient god required the blood of the satanic or something like that. But I'm pretty sure Sloane isn't that girl. Not that Sloane couldn't murder a goose. 
Don't tell them I said that. Oh, yeah. I've definitely killed a goose. Fucking assholes, am I right? Like, you're not the far superior duck. So stay in your lane, dickhead. Yeah. I don't actually go here. I work at the, uh, Blockbuster, a few miles down the road. I mean, sure, I've gone to a few college parties, but there's something like five colleges in the area. Kind of weird that Claire just assumed I went to this one. I mean, sure, I guess you could say I go here now, but that's mainly because I recently moved in. What can I say? The view is nice, and the person who was here before me left an axe labeled goose killing weapon in the closet. <laughs> that was a pretty sweet add on to the room. The only real problem is the roommate. She doesn't know I exist. She thinks the room's haunted by the spirit of the goose her old roommate killed. Something like that. I don't know, what a weirdo. But let's be honest. If spirits always haunted their killer's rooms, no one around here would get any sleep. Too fucking noisy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. But like I was saying, it's kind of a hassle to get in and out of the room when Lee is nearby. Especially now that she has a girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, it's awkward for me, not her. Like, where's the line drawn? She's fine having sex in front of ghost geese, but she can't sleep next to one? We've had a few close calls, but I think I've handled them pretty well. Uh, I'm a ghost. Um, you must sleep. Uh, don't scream. It'll wake the other spirits. Is that a camera? Go, 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 go! At this point, no one believes Lee when she calls campus security. So I really think she's starting to buy into the whole fact that I'm a ghost. Yeah, I'm friends with Lee. She genuinely thinks she's going crazy. I mean, I don't think it's my place to tell her that a possibly murderous rando has been living in her room for the past four months. Right? So... Do you have anything to say about the ghost geese on campus? Who are you? Claire told me this was a coding seminar. But do you have anything to say about the ghost geese? I mean, geese? They're... fine, I guess. Rowan said what? That he thought geese were fine. No, no, that was a rhetorical question intended for a dramatic effect so that you could have the perfect cutaway shot. You didn't have to actually respond. S sorry, I just thought- No, 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 but, 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 I pay you five dollars an hour plus the occasional bag of fruit snacks so that you can help me immortalize these priceless college memories. And the only reason I gave you the job is because A, you're my roommate, and B, you bought the batteries for the camera. Speaking of, this week's pay. Fetch! Great. Now we have to do something about that horrible infestation of geese. Welcome, one and all, to the first annual goose hunt! We're gonna be finding a goose, interrogating it, and learning all of its evil goosely secrets! Wait, we're not killing them? <laughs> no! That'd just be cruel, not scientific! Alright, well we've gotta head out pretty quickly, because the dorms close at midnight and we don't want to get locked out. Ready? It's 8pm, we still have like 4 hours to find a goose. No, we only have two hours. It's 8 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, now everybody put on your goose disguises. Uh, yeah, real and conspicuous. They're never going to notice us. You're right. These masks are useless. Just look at the structure. This is clearly a Tula fighting goose, which are not found outside of Russia. Just like, look at the curve of the beach. Please, can we just get going? We don't have that many hours of darkness left. And everyone knows this is when the geese are at their most demonic. It, it's still 8 p.m. Okay, you know what, Zoe? Some of us have an early bedtime due to going to water aerobics in the morning. So don't brag about your lack of a social life. Oh, I have to do my CS homework. You're just playing Tetris. I didn't ask you to judge my life choices. Please, we have been out here for so long, the sun is coming out. That's a street light. 
beside the point. Okay, that's it. I'm ready to kill or interrogate some arrogant bird bastards. Yeah, please, let's get this over with so we can all just go to bed. Geese, we are coming for you. I think there's a satanic goose ritual right ahead. Uh, okay, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't like these geese, but I don't think they're performing cult rituals. That's what they want you to think. You've been brainwashed by their goose propaganda. I refuse to be brainwashed! See, be like Claire. With that attitude, you're at risk of being possessed by one of them. If the geese aren't killed, you will have no free will. Only the will of the goose. Is that what you want, Zoe? To have a goose inside you? <laughs> Damn, you're into that freaky shit, Zoe? All this time you've been a kinky goose lover? Uh, okay. Loving up on those geese? When did this line of thinking even start happening in this first <laughs> That's not a no! <gasps> Goose lover. Goose lover. Goose lover. I, goose, goose lover. Goose lover. Goose lover. I don't want to have sex with the geese. What? No, no. We said goose lover. We think that you're a fan of the geese. Okay. Well, speak for yourself. I thought you wanted to fuck the geese, and now you must redeem yourself and prove your loyalty to all humans. You have to be the one to kill the goose. Okay, wait, I thought we weren't killing anything. Well, we weren't, but then you had to go and admit that you're a goose lover. Goose lover! You betrayed all of the non-geese. And now, you know what you have to do. Be gentle with it. It's a family heirloom. Your family's a bunch of goose hunters. More like it's a member of my family. All right, go get him, tiger! You're gonna kill it. Okay! Uh, where would I even find it? <laughs> that way. This bonding is going so much better than I expected! I think we might even get a group hug! Get it! Get it! Get the goose! Get the goose! Get the goose! Get the goose! Get it! 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 No one thought to bring their room keys? Real shame about the cameraman. Want me to call the campus police to let us in? No!